Um, the Dealmaker is about the experience of over my lifetime making deals. Um, I started making deals when I was very young um, and I'm still making deals today. So it's, it's really just what I do. I think you know, what, what I was surprised about was just how addicted I was to the whole process of, of deal making and the whole emotion of it. Um, I think in some ways quite harmfully addicted, uh, um, but I haven't managed to lose that addiction. So it, it didn't put me off doing deals writing the book. But knowing what I know now, um, I probably would have stopped doing deals to make money at 40. It, it wasn't a, a monetary objective, it was just actually the whole journey of each deal. And I, I never could s stop. Uh, I'm not sure I ever would be able, will be able to stop. What I think dyslexia does is it means that where you can be successful, you concentrate very extremely. Um, I remember asking when I was about 40 if I could learn French. I said that maybe I must have lost my dyslexia by now. And they tested me and my spelling age was still seven. And it was quite clear I was never going to be able to learn French. So I got back to make, doing deals. And so you, you end up with this very, very narrow focus. And I hope they would take the message that don't al allow your career um, to sacrifice other things. Um, you know, it's, to have a balanced life, I, I think it's a wonderful goal. Uh, it's not something I've ever been able to achieve, but I hope a lot of people in the audience will look at it and say, actually, is it really worth making that sacrifice to achieve you know, whatever, you know, the, ex the extra deal? Or maybe one should be more balanced about it.